dear friends in this video we are going to discuss about methods of controlling emissions in the previous video we already discussed about the different engine emissions in the case of spark ignition engine as well as in the case of the compression ignition engine the major cause of the engine emission is nothing but the incomplete combustion taken place inside the engine cylinder in both the cases of si and c engine so as we already discussed there are two categories of the engine emission one is a exhaust engine emission and another one is a non exhaust emission so as we discussed the exhaust emissions are very much hazardous as compared with the non exhaust type of a emission so it has very much hazardous thing like the uh, environmental problem some problem uh, human health etc etc so always whenever the exhaust emissions will come out from the engine cylinder there is a need to be some work to be done on that exhaust emission and then after that will be sent to the atmosphere so this comes with the help of or we can do this particular thing with the help of the emission controlling devices so again there are different methods to control the emissions in the case of spark ignition engine and in the case of compression ignition engine so here we have the different methods which can control the engine emission so these methods are the first one evaporation loss control device this is also called as a elcd the second method is thermal package or thermal converter this is the another device or we can say the another method to which we can control the exhaust emission the third method is catalytic converter which is very much famous nowadays the, this particular catalytic converter is available in every four wheeler or the four wheeler engine is equipped with this particular catalytic converter to reduce the harmful effect of the engine uh, emissions on the atmosphere as well as on the human head so the next one that is exhaust gas recirculation it is also called as the egr system and the next one or the last one the particulate trap so these are the different methods or the different devices which are available and we can use to control the exhaust gas emission so in the next videos we are going to discuss thoroughly one by one this particular different methods of controlling emission so thank you so much for watching the session